It's Cosby Coast Radio. Thank you very much indeed for your time this morning. Uh, I saw some great photographs on Facebook over the last week of folk out and about in Bush Mills cleaning and they seem to be clearing up things around the town and I thought it would be nice this morning to maybe catch up with what's going on there. And joining me now from Bush Mills is Donna Thompson. Good morning, Donna. Good morning. So uh, the town's been getting a wee bit of a, a spring clean, is that right? Yes, the volunteers have been out and about just cleaning up the area and weeding all the, down by the river, all the main street, just to make it look a bit more presentable. And, and whose idea was this? Um, well, it was the Bushmills Volunteer Group. Mm -hmm. um, it was uh, Lynn and Alison who volunteered for it and they suggested and then everybody got on board and decided they would help. And how easy was it to get people involved, Donna? Well, we do have the volunteer group. There's probably about 30 to 40 of us oh, right. who help with shopping and everything. And we just put everything up on a, on a group WhatsApp page. Yes. And then if you're available, you can contact them. And, and where did the materials, like cleaning materials or brushes or whatever you've been using, where did all that sort of thing come from? That just comes from the volunteers or the local community. Anybody who is out to help some people. Mm -hmm. um, there is a man, Greer, who was helping. He's not actually on the volunteer group, mm -hmm. but he's seen it and thought he would like to help. And he mm -hmm. had some tools and, you know, yes. and stuff we could use. That's excellent. And everybody's been enjoying it. I mean, the weather's been decent enough over the last week or two. It's been a lot worse if you're out in heavy rain, I suppose. Yeah, no, they all seem to be enjoying it. And what else really have good. people in, in Bush Mills been doing throughout this lockdown period to, to, to keep busy? Well... Um, the volunteer group, it, um, we get messages every day, you know, um, for people who need the likes of prescriptions um, for food shops. Yes. The government um, packages, the government food parcels are delivered to the Korean Leisure Centre. And we have volunteers who go every day, Monday through Friday, to pick up any number of boxes. Could be a couple, could be a dozen. That's superb. And deliver to the, the surrounding area. We do hot food parcels on a Tuesday and Friday night, you know, for the yeah. local community as well. So anything anybody wants, um, and if we can possibly help them, that's what we aim to do. And, and are they getting in touch with you through through Facebook um, or, or what? Um, there is a number, when this all started off, we got cards printed out mm. with um, Leanne Abernathy's name on them. Oh yes, yes. And um, we all gathered together and decided to do with the social distance and mm. just to post in letterboxes in the town. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Um, so every single door got one of these cards in to say if they needed help to contact her. So basically she gets a message and then she passes it on to the group and whoever is available mm -hmm. at that particular time does whatever they can. And, and it works? It seems to work very well. Bush Mills is such a, an important location. I mean, in terms of tourism and so on that, that would have been really big in the area, just two miles from the Giants Causeway. But I'm wondering... Have the residents of the town been enjoying this sort of tourist-free period, this this quieter period? Um, I'm not sure if they're enjoying it. It's certainly completely different to what we're used to. Mm -hmm. I mean, I would I have a very busy life, and you know, I work and have kids and mm -hmm. go to the gym, and so at the you know, it's amazing to be able to help people because you're you're you have so much time now. What has the the street cleaning and and the other things that have been going on in the town, the other activities, what has that done for the sort of general community spirit among people in the town? Well, it's, it's lifted the morale. And um, like my son, I go to a wee woman who is 98 and my son was, is now her pen pal. They write a letter to each other mm. every week. That's you know, just, and she's amazing. And, and the amount of people you, you meet and they're so grateful and thankful. It's unbelievable. The community has really come together. Well, listen, if for nothing else, for that, that lady of, did you say, 98 years old, for her now yeah. to have a pen pal, isn't that superb? It's amazing. Okay. Um, you know, it's just everybody, you know, in general. There's just people, even younger people, there's people's families who their loved ones have passed away, not mm. necessarily from this virus, yes. but, you know, it's, it's awful for them. Um, so we try to give them support, cook them fresh homemade meals that their family would normally be doing, you know, things like that. It's because it's not a nice time for anybody. 
Well, some great stuff, great work going on there in Bush Mills, and, and you and so many others are heavily involved in that. Donna, thank you very much indeed for your time this morning. Good to chat to you. And please pass on our regards from all of us here at Cosby Coast Radio to everyone who's involved there.